The White House is trying to tackle and slash bank overdraft fees with a new proposal. This is Burger King owners is set to buy out its biggest franchisee in the U.S. ABC Business Report Alexis Christophers has more on that and your other business headlines. Alexis, what are you watching today? Lots to dig into today, Diane. We're going to start with holiday shopping because it turned out to be even better than expected in December. The Commerce Department says retail sales jumped 0.6% last month. That says that strong job market continued to fuel spending. So Americans spent at car dealerships, clothing stores, and online last month, while Sales at department stores jumped 3%, the most of any category. Analysts say these numbers suggest that consumers can continue to drive economic growth in the new year. President Biden's trying to slash bank overdraft fees that millions of Americans pay when they try to spend more money than they have in their checking accounts. Many banks charge as much as $35 for every transaction when you overdraft on your account. Well, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is proposing new rules that would cut those fees to as low as three bucks. It says that will save consumers three and a half billion dollars every year. Now, these rules still need to be finalized. They'll likely go into effect next year. But some big banks like City, Bank of America, America and Capital One have already lowered or eliminated their overdraft charges. So you want to double check with your bank to see if your money is in an account with the lowest available fees. And the next time you make a purchase through the Apple App Store, you may have something you've never had before, a choice when it comes to how you pay. So starting this week, Apple is allowing developers to add links inside their apps that bring customers to an outside website where they can then input their credit card information. Remember, in the past, Apple developers could only use Apple's billing system, which, by the way, took a 15 to 30 percent cut, and they couldn't tell users that prices could be cheaper on the web. This change comes after the Supreme Court refused to hear Apple's appeals stemming from Epic Games' legal challenge to its app store. And your local Burger King might be getting a makeover. It's all part of the fast food giant's plan to buy its biggest franchisee, Carol's, for $1 billion. As part of this deal, Burger King's parent company promises to pump $500 million into remodeling about 600 BK locations by 2028. Something to look forward to with your Whopper. All right, Alexis Christophers, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And if you have any finance questions for Alexis, just leave a message on our Instagram feed. She might answer your question right here on Thursday. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.